Well, Desiree, the political imaginations are in full swing within the governing party. As you know, there are some ANC, NEC members like Mr. Tony Yengeni, like Minister Lindy Besisulu, ANC, NEC member, like Dr. Nkosa Zanazamini Zuma, the likes of Tandi Mahambe Sala, who have spoken out openly in saying that the president of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa, must step aside, particularly after that ANC, NEC meeting that took place two weeks ago at Nazrek, where he first took the ANC or tried to take the ANC NEC into confidence on what transpired at his farm in Palapala where he said that it was not 4 million US dollars that was stolen but instead it was 580,000 US dollars amounting to about 10 million rands that were stolen. Yesterday the expert panel report came out and did say that the president may have violated certain sections of his oath of office and the constitution later on this evening at seven o'clock the ANC's national executive committee meets to deliberate on this particular matter mr tony Engeni, the report is finally out the president has been found to may have violated his oath of office and the constitution and the pre care act as an ANC NEC member, you've been saying that the president must vacate office over these allegations pertaining to Palapala. Do you feel vindicated by this report? Absolutely. I feel uh, very, very much vindicated. For the longest time, we've been saying to him, he must step aside or resign to give the process of investigation a chance. Because there are, there are areas uh, that have to be investigated by SARS or the Reserve Bank, uh, or the Hawks, etc. And being the person who has appointed a number of those officials, um, he must give those officials a chance to do their job without fearing that they'll be victimized by him or his, uh, or his uh, 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 followers. Um, um, but more than that, even the last NEC, uh, some of us made it very clear to, to him that he needs to step aside for another reason. And that reason being that he himself has admitted in public uh, on certain things, purely on those admissions by him in public, uncont uncontestable facts, he should uh, resign. Uh, one of those ones that is very prominent in the report by the panel is that he not only failed to report the crime in his farm, but he also sought to hide or conceal uh, the existence of that crime, which is a very, very serious crime in terms of our legislation. The PRICA uh, Act is very clear, Section 34.1, that if you are found guilty of that act, of that conduct under that act, you must be sentenced it's compulsory you must be sentenced not less than 15 years Mr. Yengeni, but is that does the report particularly its findings and recommendations at the end not open up a leeway to say the president may that word may will it not be subject to legal interpretation and he may get off the hook on a technicality come your NEC meeting this afternoon look <clears throat> I'm not a lawyer um, I saw that uh, uh, um, you know concept of May. Of course, the the panel was not meant to find the president guilty, but they found prima facie evidence that this man may have. Uh, uh, um, violated certain sections of our law and constitution. Now, prima facie is a very strong word by judges. These are not uh, politicians. Uh, they've looked at the evidence before them and they've decided that uh, there's a very strong case against him. Is the NEC ready? Was the NEC ready for when this report finally came out? Former President Tabon Beki of the ANC and of the country questioned whether the NEC is actually ready and what happens should they be or the or the expert panel find that the president has a case to answer to which is pretty much the case now are you ready as the national executive committee of the governing party we are very 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 ready we can't wait for the national executive committee meeting tonight 
because as I said you have been vindicated and want to um, I wish that this meeting be physical not uh, uh, online uh, so that we can stare each other in the eye and speak facts and the truth uh, to each other uh, uh, I think we are ready to tell the president to leave and to give this process a chance but besides that giving the process a chance of investigation. You know, the ANC is so much under pressure because of this thing. You know, people are saying, and I'm saying, we told you. The whole ANC from number one downwards is a crime scene. It's a crime syndicate. So all of us now are implicated by, by association uh, in this thing. So the ANC is suffering tremendously in terms of, of its credibility, image, integrity. So we're saying just give the ANC a chance to continue with its uh, uh, programs. Well, Mr. Engine, as you wrap up, who of you in the ANC does not have baggage? Who of you does not have skeletons in the closet? Zulim Kize, there's allegations of digital vibes. Many ANC leaders are facing allegations. As you have said yourself, you are a crime scene, in a word, in, 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 in the eyes of South Africans. Your own president said the ANC stands as accused number one. Yeah, well... Um Two wrongs don't make a right. If you make a wrong and you commit a crime, you can't say, I must be left alone because Tony has also committed a crime. No. You must stand up and answer for yourself about what you have done and take responsibility and stop hiding behind all sorts of excuses. Cyril must take responsibility for his actions. We were not there at Palapala. It's his farm. He must take full responsibility and must give the ANC and the country a chance to proceed without him. Because as long as he's there, he's, he's creating serious trouble for us, even internationally, abroad, for that matter. Are you anticipating nothing else and nothing less but a resignation from him as president of the ANC and president of the country? I expect Cyril to fall on his sword and resign today so that the country can breathe the ANC can move on with its programs. Thank you very much, Mr. Tony Ngeni. Tony Ngeni, they're saying that he expects the president of the ANC and of the country to resign, to leave, to fall on his sword, and for the ANC to breathe. But as the ANC president said about a year or so ago, the ANC stands as accused number one. Sam Maseko, there are very strong sentiments from ANC NEC member Tony Yengen.